What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be giving you a quick update on just some of the Black Friday specials that are going on. And if you don't know what Black Friday is, it's the Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. And what Black Friday signifies is the first day of the Christmas shopping season. So most majority of companies hold off their best deals of 2012 or of that current year for Black Friday. And I'm also going to go over some of my top predictions for 2013 in the world of Apple products. Are you going to want to hold off on purchasing an Apple product until the next few months of 2013? I'm first going to go ahead and start off with Best Buy. They are one of my favorite companies to purchase Apple products from. So let's go ahead and get started with the deals from there. Now, Apple isn't known for significant price reductions even on Black Friday, but let's go ahead and go over some of the price quotes that Apple is giving now that Black Friday is approaching. Best Buy will be offering $10 off of the $99 Apple TV set. This is probably the best deal here. Apple will be offering $175 off of the 13-inch MacBook Air that runs $1199. We have $165 off of the 13-inch MacBook Pro, which is also retailing at $1199. $5 off of the $199 iPod Touch. And you also get a $50 Best Buy gift card with that as well. Best Buy is also offering $20 off of a $100 Apple iTunes card, $5 off of a $155 iPod Nano, and you also get a $20 Best Buy gift card with that as well, and $30 to $60 off of the Wi-Fi only iPad 2. Now Best Buy also announced this morning that they're also going to be having a sale on the third generation iPad, but the Wi-Fi only model. You're going to receive $50 off of any Wi-Fi model, as well as a $75 gift card through Best Buy. Now the big question that everybody always asks themselves is now the good time to buy a new Apple product is now a good time to jump into the Apple ecosystem. I'm going to go ahead and run through my top predictions for 2013 in the Apple product world and you guys be the judge if now is the time to purchase the product that you're looking for. Now March 2013 was when we should see our first big update and that's going to be a retina display added to the iPad mini and Apple is also said to be updating their Apple TV set which is going to be able to be open sourced for app developers to create applications and submit into the App Store. And there's also been some big rumors about some type of iTunes radio product that Apple's going to announce as well. Now in June 2013, y'all know that WWDC is the big event to happen then. So when WWDC rolls around in June of 2013, we should see a preview of iOS 7. We should also get a preview of OS X, as well as Apple should be releasing the MacBook Airs with Retina Display. And as you all know, Jonathan Ive did take over in iOS in around this time frame of Jonathan Ive's influence over the iOS app ecosystem. Now in September of 2013, we should see the iPhone 5S, which is going to be an intermediate upgrade to the iPhone 5. We should also see the iPad Mini get another update, which is just going to be a spec update. We should also get a full redesign of the new current generation full-size iPad. Now it's said that this is going to look more like the iPhone 5 and the iPad mini. Now last and finally in November of 2013, Apple is going to release an actual Apple TV. Not the little black box server that Apple has, but an actual television set. And it's said to be coming in sizes shipping from 42 inches all the way up to 55 inches. Apple's stock market is said to really boost up here as well in 2013. Well, that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this information and found it useful. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so. That does help support the channel out. Also, leave down in the comments section which product you guys are most anticipating. Now, if you guys are interested in me giving away some of these products here to be released in 2013, be sure to smash that like button on this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.